Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Order of Battle Blitzkrieg, the DLC, which allows you to play Order of Battle World War II from the German perspective. Uh, in the initial campaigns in Europe, as you attempt to re, uh, replay the conquests of Germany during the early phases of World War II. In our last video, we started the drive on Paris, the first part of the Battle of Northern France. In this video, we will continue that, uh, that action. We have seen a little bit of success in the central front. It's still very early. Uh, our air units have started to play an effective role, and we've started breaking apart the French defenses in the center. On the right and left flanks, however, our forces are meeting with more difficulties, and we'll see if we're able to figure that all out here in part two as we attempt to drive on Paris and defeat the French once and for all, gaining revenge for the peace of 1918. Uh, but we will see how that all plays out. I'm going to go ahead and jump out, jump back into my live streamy self, and uh, turn it back over to myself. I'll meet you guys back at the end, and I hope you guys enjoy. Take the damn bunkers! I could pull these guys back. I literally have an air unit right there. You'd think, I guess maybe camouflage from the air, you don't see it, but I would have hoped. Would have hoped we could. All right, I won't attack that minefield because that does hinder the French movement. Um, What are we going to do over here where we're being counterattacked? Enforcements, which they get... All right, so we beat that that unit down a bit. Damn, I meant to move in our quick-firing anti-tank gun, which I didn't do. Hmm. Yeah, there's literally, well, it kind of protects our flank, so there is some reason. Attack reams, but the French have heavy infantry there that I really don't want to deal with. Turn to read. Nice. They can attack if they want, but they're basically cut off here, so. And in fact, they might actually be cut off. I don't think they have a route of supply. Yes, technically they're not surrounded, but they have no roadway that links them to supply, so I think they will be at least partially cut off. We'll go ahead and end this turn. You can see our air unit, who was a casualty, has nine turns until he is uh, brought back into the game. This French infantry unit did advance east to get back into supply uh, with this town here that gets them sort of back into the supply lines. They also counterattacked our engineers, but I'm happy with that trade. Three to two, two to two, you know, nearly one to one trades are largely in my favor. Um, so things are a bit slow going thus far for us. Damn, the French are putting up a pretty damn good fight to this point. Um, pull that guy back too. They did pull their armor out and brought in some infantry here to relieve the pressure on that armored unit, which was getting beat up pretty badly by the combined attacks of all of our infantry. They bring in an inf infantry unit and immediately counterattack. They did lose pretty heavy casualties in that attack though, so there's at least one positive for us. Pull their armor out of Bavouz. So, French are maneuvering much more sagely than in the Dunkirk campaign. Heavy French artillery and heavy French infantry continue to hold that eastern flank pretty effectively, dealing heavy damage to our infantry unit here. Really would be happy if they pulled... God, these guys are surrounded now. do. 
Let's reinforce this guy. Bunkers off. Okay, our Stuka's over here. Let's see if we can finish this armor unit off. No. Um, one fighter. Go ahead and these guys. So, hold them back a bit. We'll just go ahead and drop these guys in. Paratroopers there. Just to get some additional troops on the ground. They're not really behind lines or anything like that. But defeated that remaining French force. Now we can finish the drive on Dieppe and hopefully get moving toward Le Havre. Doesn't look like there's any way we'll get there uh, within the sort of 18 turns that it wants you to. Um, our artillery is going to go ahead and pound at these French infantry. Here. All right, so we've got a full reinforced unit there. These guys will get some additional reinforcements. I think we might be about to. I don't know if breakout's the right word, but at least start getting some momentum down here now that we finish that French infantry unit off. Badly damaged this other, this other French unit. Of course, now we're out of requisition points to reinforce ourselves, so actually we're going to pull this infantry unit all the way back off the front. Although we are, I guess, sort of, see, not stealthily, but... I didn't realize I was this close to Paris, but hey, I am. Um, all right, so I actually sort of halted the drive on Paris by pulling some of these units out a little bit. Just expose that infantry unit. That'll probably get destroyed next turn. But nonetheless, I sort of halted the drive on Paris to finish up and shore up my rear a little bit. I uh, gotta go ahead and, I think, eliminate this unit to take this town, and then we can really kind of begin the drive. The western side of this river, we can sort of begin the drive probably sooner rather than later. But we're six turns in. We're closing it on Paris. We're nowhere near La Havre. Uh, but we're at least making some progress toward our main objective here. French infantry is going to counterattack this armored unit. We're going to attack our infantry. Let's see how the fight plays out here. Probably like in their favor. So the French are definitely given a go. Wow. Inflicted 75% casualties. The attack that was a little bit surprising. Uh, I guess our quick-firing anti-tank guns are firing in support. Got so much damn artillery, though, all over here. French are not yet beaten, that's for sure. French fighter. Ah! The French Air Force has arrived! Uh, it's an, a Del, Del Walter and an Emot. Emot, I believe that's a tactical bomber. Not what I was looking for. Um, let's see here. Fine, can't get anywhere. It needs to go home and replenish land it um Reinforcements, so we don't have enough money, so now we got to start using some inexperienced reinforcements. Okay. 
All right, so we are advancing on Dieppe. I'm hoping there's just sort of a soft shell of an enemy force in front of us, and then we can just kind of finish them off after that. Horsemen. All right, so that armored unit's destroyed. like to advance this guy, but then they're just going to come in behind me and cut me off. Screw it. If they do that, I'll easily cut them off and destroy them. They may drive in on Sosons and try and take it back, but if they do, they do. Some little armor in there. Um... Intelligence. After overrunning, overrunning a local command post, a number of French staff officers have been taken prisoner. The documents they carry inside, several maps revealing the deployment of enemy forces around Paris. All right. It's a positive development. Or we'll pull these guys back. So some of these troops are probably too weak to advance. What we can see here, I don't see a lot of French troops around Paris, which is kind of surprising. It's relatively empty. There's empty. There's a few pillboxes and some units in front of it. I don't see a ton, a ton of resistance. This would be expected. That I can attack that. Yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and turn seven. I suppose once we take Paris, we can switch all our forces toward Maharve. It just won't happen within 15 turns, which I don't really know what that means. Maybe it means there's no British invasion. Sea Lion, um, which I guess I wasn't really banking on anyway. It also doesn't look like the French are getting reinforcements, at least not in the way of replacing their losses. They're definitely, it seems to either be new units that are coming on the map, like these two French Air Force units, but I haven't actually seen any units that have lost strength be reinforced, so that's encouraging. Or if they have, there's only one or two. I'm thinking maybe the Force and Reams have. Okay. Which tactical air force is going to be a little bit annoying. To say the least. God damn it, they got another... Oh, this is the one that we damaged. them back. Hmm. I wonder if there will be a southern France mission or if this will be it. So we've captured one of the secondary objectives. Like, why can't he move there? So those units needed reinforcements. They got them. Those are basically my reinforcements for the turn, though. Um, well, the only question is what to do next. Okay, so that bunker was destroyed. Do we want these guys to move toward Arv, or do we want them to move toward... I guess we'll move them. Pull these guys back a little bit. Armor will continue its attacks on the end. Aircraft guns will swing the infantry over to support them. Well, these guys have all been through a tough fight. Come out victorious.
Chateau Thierry. I can't attack with this unit. Apparently I can't. I'm part of a four. Um finish that unit off via the Stuka. So that guy is going to bombard him. I mean, there might be some covert bunkers. There's definitely a force here to the west of Paris. That's a little bit concerning in, in terms of its strength. Paris itself seems relatively weak. Best as I can tell. I'm sure there will be more like secret bunkers and stuff like that. See if they drive forward here to try and slash at our supply lines here. Advance these two units down rope toward Paris. Um, scrum unit I can't reinforce. Same for these guys. We'll just on the heck. fighter unit. We'll go ahead and take off. I don't have the resources to waste on reinforcing it. All right, so that'll do it for turn number eight. Well, they are reinforcing that anti-aircraft unit, so it does look like they have at least some. I don't know how the game decides what gets reinforced, but they definitely have some reinforcements that they get. Damn it, they're gonna attack our Stukas. get that Stuka unit out of there. Losing that, uh, losing one of our BF-109s really hurt our, uh, anti-air force, because we really, we don't have any, we don't have any flat guns. Alright, so... Ju eighty four, eighty seven, lost too many. Games. Pull it back. I'm just gonna hope they don't chase it. Um, they do want to see if I can destroy this other enemy unit. Close, not quite. So we successfully drove back that enemy anti. Hopefully we finish this gun off next turn, then we go ahead and reduce this bunker next turn, and we close in and take the French port of Dieppe. Objective. There's our spotter. See, this is what I don't understand. Why are they able to all be secretive and we can't detect them? That doesn't make any sense to me. Let's use one of our Stukas to finish that unit off. Our other Stuka to finish this unit off, hopefully. Yep. Another French unit destroyed.
need. It's here. Do anything with this guy. So we'll damage him and at least slow him up a bit. Attack that armored unit there, it's pretty weak. Hmm. Take the risk and take the casualties to try and reduce that bunker. do it for turn number nine. French infantry moving up to likely attack our armor there. Yep. Didn't do much damage. Uh, if you do hear some loud noises, uh, there's a bit of a storm going on right now, guys, so I do apologize if that's annoying or anything like that. Damn. Retreat, infantry, retreat. All killed. damage there on that enemy ground attack. I'm very happy with that result. Nor there either. Look like old World War One tanks. Is that what they are? Well, they're effective against our anti-tank guns, whatever they are. Um... Fuck's sake, artillery! Run out of ammo! Boxes devastating it. So... Ruin taken. The capture of Rouen has caused panic among the French troops, weakening the Allied defenses of Le Havre. Well, hopefully it, you know, weakens them substantially. Is that unit? So I think that was the second of four secondary objectives we need to take that we just did. Really don't care about your quick firing weapon, so we'll do the damage we can and lose the casualties. What it is. You guys are gonna get forced. Infantry seems to be fairly effective against that guy. Alright, so we destroyed that unit. Took us a bit of time to do it. Exactly cheap. 
Oh, we got it done. Um, Got a Stuka, doesn't really. Where did. Uh... Oh, it's a BF 109. Can he reach any of the French? Doesn't look like it. He'll fly this way. This guy's gonna fly. To that airbase. We'll land. Maybe get some reinforcements if we can spare him. You guys are just gonna die next turn. Only unit we have left? Two? Yep. Alright. Turn number 10 is completed. See what the allies do here. Probably gonna try and attack this infantry unit. It is weak. Hope it at least retreats. Okay. I'm hoping these guys can't get there in one turn to drive them back, but at least they inflicted some casualties. Um. French attack air there, doing nothing. This French attack air unit might... Oh, no, he's going to attack our Stukas. Which actually fended for themselves reasonably well. The problem is I don't have any money to spend on replacing their casualties. And Akak, of course. For fuck's sake, that heavy artillery. Can you shoot it down? No? Alright. Uh, to avoid further bloodshed, the destruction of Paris is now declared an open city. As German forces approach, the French troops are abandoning their capital. Interesting. Alright, folks. We're going to uh, hopefully drive on Paris and take Paris, but we will leave that for the next video. Paris has been declared an open city. Uh, we're repositioning our force to drive through what seems to be an open corridor to the city, and we will finish up the Battle of Northern France in our next video. With that being said, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know your thoughts as always, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.